out I have to do a survey or tag or whatever it's called um, a car survey from somebody so I'm going to do that today I'm just going to answer the questions that I've been given and yeah um, number one I'm going to read off my laptop here so if I look down that's why okay question number one if you wanted to start some driving lessons would you learn a standard stick shift okay. or uh, it isn't that long ago since I got my driver's license it's about a year I think yeah a bit like a year and a month almost and I learned driving driving with a standard stick because I think it's kind of stupid to take like driver's lessons for automatic because then you can only drive <laughs> automatic cars but if you have for standard uh, stick you can use like standard and automatic so that's better in that way and also uh, most cars are at least here they are um, standard so if you have automatic there's a very small amount of cars you can drive and also our car is standard so yeah that's why I would choose that and I did choose standard when I took driving lessons okay number two uh, what type of footwear would you wear when driving? Either flat shoes or, or high heel boots? And why would you wear it? And what type of shoe would you feel more powerful in? Okay, I, I've been driving in like sky high heels and flat shoes and driving in very high heels is kind of difficult uh, <laughs> because uh, you, when you drive your, you're going to like use your toes to you know, stomp on the pedal but when you have the heels, I'm, go I'm going to demonstrate actually. When I use these, I guess I use these <laughs> shoes for driving. And you know, when you have um, your heel like this, you're it's kind of hard to like push on the pedal. I don't know if that makes why it's like that. But it's kind of hard to <laughs> push it, kind of hard to like reach it because it's so far. And uh, yeah, I would choose flats. It's best to drive in flats, even though I sometimes drive in high-heeled shoes. That's not really smart, but I do it anyway. Uh, yeah, and I feel more powerful in like flat flats because then I can have more control over my feet and the pedal and the car and everything. Uh, question number three, would you, when driving, suddenly put your right foot all the way down if you saw your worst enemy crossing road? Uh, someone who has killed uh, someone's, for example, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, and explain why. No, I wouldn't kill anybody. I'm not a killer person. So I'm not really. Um... Question four: If you ran to your car and your worst enemy ran after you and they managed to trap their hand in your car window, would you a get the car keys and start dangling them from your hand? B smile and tease them when you're ruining the car on or or C smile and wave to them and suddenly floor the gas pedal and drive off with their hand trap? Okay, um, if B means like removing the car means like uh, stamping the gas pedal without having the um, car in gear is that what it means in case I would choose B <laughs> just teasing them a bit I don't think I would like drive off with them I don't have like an enemy so <laughs> I don't know maybe if I had someone that hated really bad I would do the, something else but I'm not sure um, number boom yeah, five. Would you be a fast driver or a slow driver and would would be one putting your foot all the way down on the gas pedal? I think there other people consider me as a slow driver, but I think that's because other people drive so fast. Oh my god. I'm so I get so irritated by people who are like, Oh my god, you drive so slow and I'm like look at my, you know, speed speedometer and it's like a bit over the speed limit and I think like 90% of all people here drive too fast and that annoys me so bad. So I think other people considers me a slow driver 
but I only drive like in the speed limit or below, I don't drive over, so I will consider me like <laughs> the way it should be. I, I think all people do that. But um, <laughs> I think other people would consider me a slow driver. But if you are like fast driver, just stop driving fast. I don't get why. You, you say maybe one minute, like, whoa, you get uh, one minute faster. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. It just annoys me a lot. Um, question six When you're driving, would you feel total. Co co um, when you you're driving, would you feel in total control when pushing the gas pedal? You mean like total control, like I want to push harder so that I get faster, or would you, <laughs> or would you, or would you mean like in total control, the like of the car? Because I think I'm in total control of myself and the car most times, unless it's like. A lot of ice outside and maybe like a bit of water on the ice then I will feel a bit insecure but most times I don't feel like I'm not in control um, question 7 when driving if you one of your passengers said show me how fast your car can go would what would you do I would not feel that as I said before I hate people who's driving too fast I don't I just oh annoys me so much so of course I wouldn't do that people I guess people are watching like oh my god she's so boring she's just only driving below the speed limit yes I am and all people should do that I think um, question 8 if your passengers was not wearing a seatbelt would you slam on your brakes to teach a lesson to your passengers to wear a seatbelt I'm like when I have passengers in my car I always like wait to start the car um, before they put on their seatbelt, I was like, wait and listen if I hear the click, and then I start driving. So I want to start driving before they put a seatbelt seat belt on. No. Um. Question nine: If you went out to your car one day and the car would not start, would you a try turning key again? B. Turn the key and push your foot completely down to the gas pedal or C. Turn the key and push the gas pedal in and out a few times. I guess I would try turning the key again. I don't know why I should push the gas pedal. Is that a trick I don't know of? Like does the car start faster if I push the pedal? I've never heard of that and I guess I just would turn the key once more and once more and once more <laughs> until I manage to start the car. Okay, I think this is the final question. Uh, question 10. Finally, you're driving down a straight road with no cars and about what would your right foot doing? Would it tempt you to floor the gas pedal? Again, I don't drive too fast. I don't like... No, so I wouldn't. Uh, okay, that was all the questions. Um, <laughs> I think this actually gives a kind of good impression of like who I am. I'm pretty like the like a decent person, I think, but maybe not so very exciting. But maybe different because maybe most people would drive as fast as they could if there weren't other people around. Maybe. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope I'm not too boring, maybe a bit um, amusing or entertaining, maybe, I don't know. And if you like listening to me talking or something, I'm going to link um, the ant tag here. Another tag where I talk a lot, so you can check that out. And I think right here, or here. I'm not sure. It is going to. It is a picture of me, and that is the tag get to know me. If you want to get to know me more, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you think I deserve to be happy, because I get really happy when people comment and um, subscribe, and that is not just something I say to get more subscribers. I mean, I'm. I really get really happy. I like. <laughs> I get so happy when. <laughs> 
people subscribe to me. It's like... I get so happy when people subscribe to me and... Uh, I just, I think it makes my day. It's like, oh my god, somebody like wants to watch my videos or at least make me happy so do that if you think I deserve that or don't if you think I'm a bad person or something okay and uh, thank you so much for watching I think I I'm, I'm really a talker talker so I just talk the video so it gets really long but okay thank you for watching this is my family word goodbye